Hey everyone, so it's the time of year, Christmas time for us dirt bike guys, that where the manufacturers start to release what they're gonna give us for 2023 model year. So KTM has been the first one to the party and there is an all new dirt bike. So a new SX two stroke that I'm really excited about. So they made some major updates. Stay tuned to see what those updates are. All right. so. We're going to go mostly into the two strokes because we already know the changes that happened with the new MX bikes. So we have uh, the, th or excuse me, the four stroke uh, MX bikes, the 450, 350, and 250 because of the factory editions. So the factory editions kind of gave us a sneak peek of what happened. So, you know, there was all new frame uh, design, new plastic, new suspension updates. Uh, uh, the ergonomics and where the motor sits as better center of gravity so better uh, you know better traction and updated seat updated um, handlebars and they also have like a traction control and launch control and different mapping and also a new switch for the start and on over there on the right they're on the same side now and a screw on gas cap so or threaded i should say and so i'm sure i'm missing something but that's pretty much the updates for the 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 450 350 and 250 sxf we've already kind of know that those updates are coming which made us realize and think or hope that all these new updates that they made in the four stroke uh, uh supercross and, and motocross bikes went into the two strokes so we have an all new bike from KTM. So this is an all new 2023 300SX. So they have given us a new SX bike and um, brought back all these other ones. So let's go look at these here. Let's hit the discover bu button and we're gonna explore the two strokes explore the range here so here it is this is what the all new 2023 sx two strokes are going to look like we have a 300 a 250 and 125 it looks like the mini bikes did not get the updated frame changes or engine changes they just got the updated new graphics and so bold new graphics we're not going to talk about them so all of these bikes got fuel injection they also now they used to have TPI, which is transfer port injection. Now it's all EFI. So that's a big thing. The other thing that they all got they got was an electronic power valve. So the 300, 250, and 125 got the power valve. And they all got a electric start, which is really cool. They also got the new frame design and parallel mounts, new Ford shock, and reworked uh, rigidity for better manage um, and rider comfort. Uh, new subframe, new diecast swing arm, uh, updated WP exact fork with new settings and hydro stopped improved bottoming, and WP exact rear shock with a shorter and lighter body. And then new handlebar mounts, uh, new switch changes, and so that you can get different maps. And then all they come with the hy hydraulic Brembo and brakes and all that fun stuff. So really some really cool stuff updated i'm excited i always love new two strokes these are all like i said electric start fuel injected you still have to mix gas in the gas tank they are not oil injected all right let's jump over to the enduro bikes so not no big changes for the xcws or the EXCFs or anything like that or the four strokes the 450 uh xcf for 2023 and the 350 got the same updates as the four stroke SX brothers. All new frame, all new bike. Uh, so nothing really big there. The 300, 250, these guys also got the new changes to the SXs did. So we've got the fuel injection, uh, the new fuel injection, so the new EFI. So they dropped the TPI, they dropped the oil injection and now they have the new frame, new suspension, and all that good stuff, electric start, and EFI. And this bike, the 125X uh, C for 2022, was a car bike. So let's see here. 
Yep, all the changes, fuel injection, electronic power valve, all that stuff, new frame, new suspension, new body work, uh, new maps. You got, so the, they come with map one and map two, and then the start st stop buttons over there. So pretty cool. I'm excited about the all new bikes. I think this is a cool uh, step. I'm not 100% sure why KTM went away from oil injection and away from the TPI. Um, I'm sure they had a really good reason for that, but um, always trying to make the bikes better. That's something that KTM really does love or hate them. They're typically a little bit ahead of the curve when they're trying out new things, and sometimes that bites them in the butt, but you know, all the Japanese manufacturers, they do a whole bunch of other things that make them way more money than their power sports division. So they're not completely focused on building just dirt bikes, which that's what KTM does is they are just a motorcycle manufacturing company. So they kind of live and die by what they put on the market. And so bring in these really modern two strokes, which I really, really, really like. I'm a two stroke guy. This is my favorite bike in the whole world. And if I bought, would buy any of these 2023s, it would be the 2023 KTM 250 XC. Which bike would you guys buy? Um, I'm really tempted by the 125 XC. I wish they would have made the 125 XC into a 200 XC. So I'm bummed about that. But which one would you guys get? Comment below. Do you love the changes? Hate the changes? Like the new color scheme? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. I want to hear from you. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.